What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number 30 of the Pokemon BDSP Rival Lock. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. Hi. Dylan, you ready? Yes. Go. No. Go. Go, go, go. On the last episode, guys, if you guys did not know, we got a... We got our seventh gym badge. Seventh gym badge down for the Phantom. Uh, Dylan is somewhere in limbo. Don't know where he's at. So we do have a rival lock as soon as Dylan finishes. And we lost a Pokemon and got an evolution, which was huge. So we got to add another member to the party and say uh, Sarunara to Ada. Unfortunately. Good thing Dylan doesn't even know who Ada is. Oh, I know exactly who that is. No, you don't. Yep. Don't you say oh, her name. encounter. Oh, it's Dupes! Ah. Good. You sound like uh, Kiwi Herman right there. <laughs> you know, I never watched that show. That's creepy. That's very, why. very freaking creepy, dude. I, I, there was no part of me that ever wanted anything to do with that show. <laughs> dude, I might have. Oh my gosh, that's actually a new encounter. That's actually new. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. Hmm. I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. Are you? Yes, yes I am. Hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm good with this encounter. Are we actually oh, gonna get no. diversity in this game? I can't add it to the party because I don't. I have to go to the name raider first. Oh, man. You boob. What'd you call me? <laughs> What'd you call me, Dylan? What'd you call me, you city slugger? Listen here, Pilgrim. Lenny. Listen Where are here. you, Lenny? Well, there we go. I'm putting, I'm putting an old favorite back on the team. Back on the team. Old favorite. Back on the old team. Old favorite. Back on the team. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, shoot. I feel, I think I used this name already. Did you? But this one's like really perfect. You, you say the name and I'll tell you. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I got a different name. I got a different name and this one will work too. Yeah? Yep. Gotta fix it. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm blanking though. Like, oh, I know now. Are you? All right, there we go. We added a fan favorite back to the team. Hmm. All right, so. Hey, let's go. Nope, not there. On the map. This one, thank you. We do have to go there. Hmm. Probably. I gotta find this. Do you? I gotta look it up here. What yeah, is this, this is right. Okay. Hmm. This is a cool character. This is a cool character. Is it? Yes. What's so cool about it? Dude, I'm getting some really good superhero nicknames lately. Yeah? Yes, they're going good. Have you gotten the Blue Beetle yet? No. I think only Heracross can be the Blue Beetle. Oh, interesting. Uh, interesting nature here. Oh, it's a bad nature, of course, actually. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, very bad. Oh, yeah. The worst nature you could get. Let's go. <laughs> the worst nature literally, you could get. Literally the exact opposite of what you want. What nature was that? I don't want to tell you because it might give away what I got. Just in a, in the ballpark. Uh, just I got a physical attack nature. Ooh, so it's a special Pokemon or a defensive Pokemon? Hmm. It's a Noctowl. Mm-hmm. Was I right? Sure. No, tell me if sure I'm right. Tell me if I'm right. Tell me if I'm right. Definitely was. I am at No Point City. Ooh, you have a gym to go do, my friend. Yeah. And I promise you, Phantom's gonna knock you out. Let's go get uh -huh. up. You're not getting away with this Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. Oh man. Ooh. What's the? Oh, don't. Okay. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay. Wally, you got stomped. You, yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi, it was suffering. I'm going to get tougher, but not about whining or losing. That's not... Oh, not about winning or losing. Well, you are whining. It's not good <laughs> enough to have... Okay. Oh, that's what happens when you stink. Alright, so back to Bellstone HQ is what I think. Yes, we do. So, let's go. On the map. On the map. The further we get in front of DJ Spinda, the faster we're going to win this game. There's only two more rival locks, Dylan. I know. Until the end credits, my friend. Until the end credits. You know that, right? Oh, I'm are very you, aware. Are, are you ready, bro? Are you ready, bro? Oh, don't do that. Jeez. You're trying to scare are the kids, ready? man. Are you ready, bro? Don't, don't try to scare the kids, man. Why is the music in Snowpoint so weird? That's a good question. I was wondering the same thing. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. I'm all out of love. I'm There's so a torch chick in here. You. Is it a wild Oh my torch goodness. Chick? Yeah. Catch it. Jar of full Thank incense. You. Oh, that's how you get baby munchlax. Interesting. Oh my goodness. I love how they, they have a uh, gosh darn. I didn't mean you clicked that. What's it called? I like how they have the Bobaro rock climb. It's literally the HM slave in this game too. It's, it's kind of weird. All right. I hear that there's a secret thing somewhere. No, was that wrong? Maybe it's not in this game. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Special key, huh? Oh my gosh, I got three burning stickers. Let's go. I wonder go. if I can sign up. A Vulpix. It's a Vulpix. How the heck do you get in here? Oh, oh, that guy, that's right. I remember now. No, you don't. I do. He's like, I quit. There would you look at those antenna? Okay. Oh, I hey, can't go into the snow point here. temple. They took, took my clerical fairy away. <laughs> this dude got mad. He's like, because you beat me, they took my clefairy away. Damn. Harsh. Yeah. Dude, look at this snow. I'm, I'm just mowing down the snow in here. Yeah. Did you run around in that little, like, blank area where you can just run in the snow? Uh, you know what? I snow? I enjoyed myself for, like, two seconds, and I was like, you know what? Dylan is on his way. We need to calm down. I didn't trust you. Well, fine. Well, fine, then. I got the dust scone. We had 17 whole minutes, Dylan. Oh my goodness. You better hurry up. You better hurry Especially up. Especially if you want to win. Win, 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 no matter what. Win, win, Dude, their win, haircuts no are so what, weird, what, bro. What, 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 what. Whose haircuts? Team Galactic. Oh, yes. Yes, they are. I want one. I want it. I want it all. I want it all. That's how it goes, right? Uh, sure. Pretty sure. That was pretty sick. Knocked you out. One of my one of my one of my coworkers just went to a movie at Oak Park tonight. Yeah. You know what movie he went to? What? He went to Let There Be Carnage. Hmm. Yeah. Lucky bugger. Did it get him excited for Spider-Man? I mean, he was kind of worried the movie was going to... The Let There Be Carnage was going to suck anyway, so... It was decent. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Venom movies. I wanted... I, I wanted... didn't care for the first one, and I like the second one even less. I just wanted Woody Harrelson to be a lot scarier. Yeah. They should have made it rated R. They very well could have, yep. but they didn't. Uh, what Deadpool's rated R was amazing. I know. Why do I have? This I think they forget that the comic books came out in a year, in in like a very specific year. So just add on to whatever year it is to the time, then you can decide what your audience is gonna be. Yeah. So, 
Oh, Venom came out in the 80s. So the kids watching that are probably in their 30s. No kidding. Which means they're going to want to see this guy rip this dude's head off and swallow it. Exactly. Dude, Carnage, I think Carnage and Venom would have been a very different movie if it was like exactly what the comic books were. They would have been very different movies if they had just been a, a part of Spider-Man's universe to begin with. It would have been very different movies. Yeah. What is your prediction? Oh, you got a defense. Since we're going to watch the movie tomorrow, what is your prediction on how Venom and Spider-Man are going to interact? I don't think Venom's going to be in the movie. No? I don't think so. Really? You think just Tom Hardy? Maybe. Or do you think it's just gonna be like a little like cameo smidge? Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's gonna be an actual like prominent character in the movie. I think they're really gonna focus on Norman Osborn and Otto Octavius. Maybe like. And Jamie Foxx. Maybe. I think Jamie Foxx is gonna be kind of the third wheel. Think so. I think so. Hmm. Do you think that? They're gonna come back. I like how I but I will say this: that the lizard is in this movie, and so is Electrode. Yep. So, two of the and, the and the Sandman. Yeah, I forgot about him, dude. What if? Yeah, what what's if? What's the actor named Christian Hayden Church or something like that? Or? Yeah. No, for Sandman. What's his name? I can't remember. He's been in a lot of movies though. Yeah, it's something like that. He's like a he's a he's always been a very rough around the edges kind of guy. A sand man actor. Thomas Hayden Church. Mm -hmm. You're close. That's Holy man. crap. I'm actually I surprised. Know. Oh, I know my actors. Is he in? Or is it just literally just going to be... Oh, no, he's in it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. He's in it. Yep. Wow. You know, one thing that I would just love to see that, mm -hmm. like, I, I'm just dreaming about, but I doubt we're going to see it in this movie... How cool would it be if you know you know how they've showed those scenes in the in the trailers and stuff where mm -hmm. um, all the kids are in this like dungeon kind of, and they got Ock locked up in there and they're like talking to him and stuff. Oh yeah, what's and your what's your name? Have, yeah, like Doctor yeah, Octavius. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Otto, Otto Octavius. Like, oh no, really? Seriously? Like your real name and all that? Okay, so anyway, so I'm saying like this is something I just picture in my mind mm -hmm. when they're all down there and like. They're asking him questions and stuff. How cool would it be if all of a sudden Octavius starts telling them something about the Raimi universe and you get to see like some sort of flashback from the Raimi universe and they introduce a Tony Stark in that in that flashback from that universe and it's played by a different actor. Dude, you know how crazy that would be? Wouldn't that be cool to see like who like be freaking um yeah. you know you'd see you see like uh tom cruise or something playing something Tony weird Stark. yeah yeah just for a just for a brief cameo to get someone big like that i could see him doing that you know who would you who would you what actor would be your other tony stark well i know well, i'm just saying like at one point when they were casting for tony stark for the mcu tom cruise was one of the one of the front runners wow i'm surprised that. i'm glad they didn't pick tom though yeah, yeah. I mean, he I, he probably could have pulled it off, but I, I think he's a I don't DC. see Tom Cruise. I don't see Tom Cruise as like a I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the same character for ten years. Jack Reacher. I mean, he's done what? <laughs> Mission two movies, Impossible. Three movies. Yeah, and Mission Impossible is something totally different, but Cocktail. yeah, no, I mean, Top was Gun. That? They they just made a second one, <laughs> like fifteen to thirty years later. All right, like you're right, you're right. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. But see, there's a difference, though, between, like, Mission Impossible. You know, like, there's a lot of Mission Impossible movies, but they've come out over the course of, you know, the last 15 years. And they, they, they're they not, like, constantly, you know, how, like, the MCU right. just constantly, like, several movies a year. Yeah. Like, you're signed on for this many movies for this, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah, no, I could... That, that's why, like... They didn't. That's why Edward Norton left as, you know, as Bruce Banner because he didn't want to be typecasted as a, yeah, one particular character. Which is stupid. I mean, it's it's your bread and butter, dude. It's like, 
Those actors that decided yeah. to take that leap and be in the MCU, they're set for life. Yeah. And it's not like they can't play other characters. Look at Tom Holland. He's Shoot. not just Spider-Man. Look at freaking He's playing Scarlett whatever. Johansson. Well, yeah, but she was pretty big before the MCU too. Oh, you know. You you know what the first movie I ever seen Scarlett Johansson in? Huh. Home Alone three. Was she in that? She I, was. I don't remember. I don't. Remember, I don't think I've ever seen she, Home Alone three. To be she honest, she was with the you. older sister in Home Alone three. Oh yeah. Yep. That's funny. It was the one oh, about the uh, the French super spies that were after the, the the radio chip that was inside the little boy's toy car. Hmm. Yep. Scarlett Johansson was the older sister. Got the hiccups. Woo! Look out! Woo! Here comes a Spider-Man. Hmm. And you remember that from the old movies? Oh, I remember the old Asian lady playing that one song. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, so does whatever a spider can. So freaking well clean, dude. <laughs> that was when he was, and it was weird. They played that like at a, such a perfect part because that was like when he was going through the uh, losing his powers and stuff. Yep. Yeah, and the first one they had a uh, like a random dude in the subway on. Looks like a spider, dressed like a bug. We should all just give him one big hug. <laughs> Look out, whoo, here comes the Spider-Man. <laughs> Dude, that, I ain't gonna lie, that, that movie just hit harder than, you know it's what I mean? It's so good. It's just I've a watched different... the first two. Like, get, getting ready for this movie for tomorrow, I've been watching the first two Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, and they just, they're mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. I wish that when they added Jameson into the MCU that they would have tried to make him look better. They just put mm. him in as an old bald guy. I'm like, <sighs> I mean, they totally could have put a hairpiece on him. Like the character could actually wear a hairpiece, yeah. and I would have bought it because that seems like a Jameson sort of thing to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I would have, I wouldn't have had a problem with that in the slightest. Mm -hmm. For doc, for Doctor Octavius, I don't mind with Octavius. I mean, they did de-age him. Oh, yeah, that's right. But, but I, I'm talking about like with J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Well, you know what's weird? He's not bald. The actual actor? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he's, he's not. He's bald in everything I see him in. Yeah, I forget. He does a lot of the... Doesn't He does a lot of the um, farmers... What is it? Uh, the insurance yeah, commercial? Yeah, yeah. Bum, bum, yep. bum, bum, bum. Or, yeah, we whatever. We are farmers. Yeah, bum, that's bum, the one. Bum, 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 bum. That's like his go-to thing. But he when he does the voice for... Um, Omni Man and in Invincible, like when when mm -hmm. they show the inside of the studio room, like he has hair and mustache and everything. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting seeing him. What? Okay, are you? How confident are you that we're gonna see the other Spider Man? Oh, one hundred percent. That's like you're really uh -huh. there. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. We're just, gonna see him. What do you think the first trailer with the other three Spider Man are gonna drop Saturday? You're not gonna see it. Well, well, one, once the movie is officially out, then once it's not spoiler territory, you will see yeah. it. I'm sure, but I mean, I don't know. I I think at this point, there's uh -huh. no way they're not gonna be in it. You don't think so? <laughs> no, they're in it. They're in it. If they're not, are you gonna be disappointed? Uh, yeah, entirely, actually. Like an F this movie. Don't care about it. Oh, I mean, it's Spider-Man. I'll probably still enjoy it, but I'm going to yeah. be like... It's going to be more like a wow. Um, a missed opportunity. Oof, yeah. That was what could have been, you know? Yeah, if you ever did that, it was an idiot. But no, I, I think I think Marvel's just really, really trying to hide it as best they can. I mean, and I appreciate that. If, They're really trying to do this for the, for the people, for the fans, you know? Like, this isn't like they're not... They're not doing this for like publicity or you know like they're doing this because they want to get the most genuine mm -hmm. they want people to be able to enjoy a movie again you know what i mean yeah and i totally appreciate that so much stuff gets spoiled anymore and i mean dustin was saying he was telling me today he said mm -hmm. stay off of youtube <laughs> stay off of tiktok people are just throwing out spoilers people are there, there were early like 
you know, like live screenings or whatever that people have been going to. Yeah, dude. And they've been, oh. you know, taking like Snapchats and stuff and putting it on their Instagram and on their TikTok. No like, way. You know, like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, like, dude. It's, it's getting it's getting out of hand, dude. You know, one of my uh, one of my job details was to be a. So you, you basically you go to those movies, those test screenings. Yep. Because they have one in Jacksonville. You go to the test screenings. And you have to sit there and watch the audience the entire time that they watch the movie. And, and ensure... make sure that their phones are put away. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I can see that for sure. I think you can do that, Dill. Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, totally off topic. Fun fun fact. Mm -hmm. This the Steelix that I'm fighting right now, it had sturdy. <laughs> I used Surf on it, and it had sturdy. But your shiny didn't. Sad. I encountered like 15 other onyxes prior to that. Mm. Every single one of them had sturdy, and it was it's so I, I knew that because it was so annoying that I was trying to one shot these and get some levels, and every time sturdy, 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 mm. I'm like, oh for God's sakes, I'm like, oh here's another sturdy onyx, boom, blow it back. <laughs> mm. I'm, yeah, I'm I'm sad for you, man. That could have been like the most crazy team member that you would have had. Oh, I know, right? Dude, shiny Steelix. You'd have had bragging rights too. Whoops. Mm. Wrong Whoops. way. We have an evolution, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. Well, who is it, Dill? Don't tell me. It's my starter. He evolved a fourth time. Dude, do you think they're gonna talk about webs? About what? Do you think one of the one of the things that I would be curious to see? Is each Spider-Man having a discussion about how they do their their, their webs? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I get you. Yeah, I mean I can totally see that. Because you know, Raimi's Spider-Man has like was the only one that had natural web shooters yeah, out of his hands. Like he was like a mutant, like an X-Men Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, if you don't, if you're if you're not a Spider-Man that's shooting webs organically, then what makes you a Spider-Man? Right. And then the other two are just strong guys, right? Yeah. I mean, right? <laughs> what what was it? Tom Tom Holland talked about his webs for a little bit, and then Andrew Garfield didn't Andrew Garfield didn't he have the first one that had the specialized webs or no? Yep, yep, he had. Um, yeah, he was the first one that had the. Uh, um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, that made web shooters. But, you know, that's the thing. It's like mm -hmm. I, I mean, I under I understand that's like how the comics were and everything. Mm -hmm. But, um, it's also, you gotta think about this too, like, he always, Spider-Man always portrays himself as this, mm -hmm. just a kid from Queens, you know what I mean? Right. When's a kid from so Queens it's like, gonna have time for... Yeah, or yeah. like the technology, I'm sure he's smart, but mm -hmm. where do you get the funding to do that? Yeah. That's why I respected Tom Holland's Peter Parker, because you actually get to see the grind, you know, early on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you go to his bedroom, his bedroom is like nerdy trash stuff you know what i mean like lower yep, income yep. stuff and then you see his freaking death star that he made out of legos <laughs> and then you see his computer and it's like an old like 1980 computer then tony stark gives him an upgrade um i mean i i guess sam sam and that's another thing too though Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, if you look at his bedroom, he has, like, literally nothing in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, nothing. Which was nothing. another another good portrayal of what I thought Spider-Man was like. But then Andrew... Well, yeah, you know, and yeah. you got you got to see a little bit of his home life at the beginning on the in the first Raimi movie where it's like, he's, you know, he goes into the backyard, he sees MJ come walking out, her dad's screaming profanities at her, you know, yeah. and... You feel for all the characters. That's the old. That's the thing. Is like, I know they really took their time with the Peter and MJ in this new stuff, mm -hmm. but something about the Peter and MJ in the original mm -hmm. Raimi trilogy just felt so natural to me. Right. Yeah. I mean, it literally was like the nerdy high schooler falls in love with the pretty popular girl who has a boyfriend that's a jock that's an a hole. Yeah. I mean, literally, that's shot for shot that's mm -hmm. that's the comic like that's what it yeah. is but but also it's super duper relatable yeah for sure i mean i i like i said the tom holland one is relatable too like we've all been there where you're a you know a shy high schooler that doesn't have a lot of friends you're you know 
obsessed with a girl or you're, you know, or you're like really into this mm -hmm. girl and just like you, every time you think you're going to have a conversation, something get, gets changed and, yep. you know, whatever. Like, I, I understand that, but I don't know. I, I just, I like the chemistry between Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst. Mm -hmm. Is she going to be in? What do you think? You think the MJ's going to be together? So, oh, I've that's it. That's rumors. it, Dylan. Oh, snap. That's it. Okay, I just, I'm just finishing a battle here. That's it. We're going to oh continue gosh. our Spider-Man talk and definitely the next episode because I think Dylan and I both have very similar and different opinions on Spider-Man in general. I'm in a ice type gym fighting a tentacruel. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's odd. So while while Dylan does that, I am almost done, you guys. <gasps> Organizing my Pokemon cards. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that move from a, what happened? a tentacruel. Did you lose somebody? No, but Tentacruel just made a vile error in his judgment just now. So. Did, you get, did, did you get out skilled out played, Dylan? <laughs> Big time, dog. Big Damn. time. Let's go. Don't you don't you hate it when when you're you get out uh, out red? All right, I just finished that battle now here. Perfect. To Rocky like a All hurricane. All right, man. If you guys did enjoy this amazing episode of the BDSP Rivalock, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. If you guys are brand new, make sure you subscribe to both channels so you don't miss a single upload of the Rivalock. But with that, everybody, I have been the Phantom Michael. That's DJ Spinda. We're going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.